just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. I just can't stop thinking about you. you. I just can't stop thinking about you. Head underwater, falling back into you. I thought we'd be smarter. Got nothing left to lose. You said you fall with me. No matter how far it goes, down deep and under.
Hello and welcome back to Rimini. It's Paganello weekend 2024. Last game of day one. It's Saturday evening and everyone's getting ready to party, but not quite yet because there is one more game today. We've got the silver bows against Vecchia Romagna. Sil silver buffalo against Vecchia Romagna. No, silver, yeah. Silver bows against Silver backs, silver backs, backs, sorry. Yeah, that's what silver it is. Silver backs against Vecchia Romagna. So these two teams, we will say it beforehand, have not filled out rosters. And while we, or rather Chapo, who's right next to me here, knows some of the names, we're, we're not gonna be 100% on these because we don't know you. Please don't expect to know us to know you. We'll try our best though and give you a fun game and I hope they will do the same. So I'm Christina Obamaya, joined by Giovanni Chapo Santucci. How are you after this first day of games? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Christina. This is the last game of the day. Very much deserved last game for us, for the players, for the organization that runs smoothly all day, ran smoothly all day. So Vecchia Romagna is a team made up of Vecchia means old, so not really old, but old players. So people that maybe they were playing pro and they stopped, they were playing and they're not playing anymore. So it's a mix of a old player, not old people. And uh, I know some of the names, I remember some of the nicknames, and obviously now I can't recall any of the real name. So that's it. But we know that for the opposite team, is a team made up of pretty, pretty much Singaporean players, besides a couple Italians and an American guy. That sounds like a really good mix, and they're gonna show us exactly how good that of a mix they are. Starting on offense. Ooh, that was a bit of body contact there. Wanted to go for the hug. And then retying his hair real quick to be to be set in this wind. It's right quite breezy. It's been more it, there's been more of that as well, but after the stoppage he can really connect on the pass and is our first attempt to a break. It was a narrow, narrow gap to fill that flick. And now Paddy for Gallo. Fabio Galli, but doesn't connect the pass. And Duncan, we heard the name is Duncan. He's picking up the disc. And immediately puts it to the sideline, caught. And the disc get dropped where he get out of bound. Paddy on the disc. Looking for an option and finds the reset in the back. Great flow going to the other side, into the middle, and that's a break. That doesn't connect. And yeah, it's too strong, too quick. And a, another hawk into nowhere. I don't know what they uh, what they were looking for, but um, as one of my old coaches uh, used to say, this is where you should have been. Yes, <laughs> well, for sure. But it was a, it was a more of a hack to let the, the the team set up a new defense and try to get the disc really close to the end zone. But it's not the case. Francini. And Barbara getting the score from the assist is from Tommaso Francini. And Bobby is scoring, securing the disc into the end zone. Yeah, also a veteran player who has not only played but coached so much in her career. I remember her seeing her on sidelines and playing against her time and time again. But you have good coverage from the female matching player there to, to try and prevent the hawk, but to, to not quite high enough that jump and Right, yeah, fin finishing us off there. Paddy, Paddy's a lefty handler, so it's always tricky to cover that because it's uh, 
you know, you're always waiting for the flick, but then you see this wide step and the big swing. And, you know, actually now the wind is slow down a bit. So people are actually able to play in this wind. And the pool goes mm, out, but nearly comes back in. It's prevented by the tent to, to float into the field. You see some kind of a, a split stack setup with this single handler. Quite some chaos there Oof. and the disc bounces off of, off of his hands and red zone for Chiromania. I release pass and then the back of the end zone second bit attempt and not quite there. Yeah, he could have gave the damp, Zgav could have thrown the damp, but he was so channeled into having the asses that he didn't even pivoted enough to see the damp. We've talked about the pivot before, it's so crucial in that win. Another and lefty, Lorenzo Gorini from Rimini also, but now he lives in Milan and plays uh, with his teammate, number 62. You can see it here, marking the disc, marking Sapucci, another ex Cota player. Oh, now a nice bid from both players. Yeah but not quite there, or good defense rather, really weak. D tries to not go for the reset and gets the up the line under pressure. Inside shot, what a grab on that near side now. Back into the middle and fakes the huck this time around. Just a very open player on the open side, trapped now. Looks for an option, goes oh inside. And oh, yes, what yes. A grab another it's up, one. It's up. That one caught with the face. That works. And the inside flick just doesn't come off right as well. Yeah, he wanted to give it so bad. It was just go there, go there, go there. But there wasn't the connection. It's, it's often that when you really want to do this one thing, that's the one thing that doesn't work out quite well. And a another big hook that's wow. weighted into the hands. What a grab. Scab for Mary. Mary for Sapucci. Oh my goodness. But it's, oh. it's a goal. What a second effort. That was really good composure. Like just being tipped and then again just catches it anyway. Look at that. Mary with the grab uh, at the bottom of the field and then quick pass for Sapucci, but then the layout, the tip, and Sapucci secures the disc anyway. <laughs> My goodness. It's really impressive. That's a veteran move right there. You can think this with like more experience on the field, you get to, to know these plays way better and get some of those chances where a, a beginner would have given up or not known where the disc would fly to. Yeah. And a miscommunication there, who would pick up the disc, but field it now. Vivid fakes. Goes reset. It's a lot of pressure from the defense. Well, Silverbacks for sure needs to put their, back, their head back into the game. And the deep shot just didn't come off right again. Another break opportunity in this one. It's a low but floating long. And what a bid. Full speed and then stretching out the hands, even touching it, but can't quite wrap the fingers around in that one either. Just going back and everyone's off to the races so quickly again. Nobody wanting to, wanting to lose a second. Oh, oh. two ghost defense and the disc is dropped. So much pressure from the Silverbacks. Not even watching the damp. The 
Get it into the middle. Oh, another fumble. And Barbie right in front of the end zone puts it in quickly. What nice flow. They're really doing a, a very good job at creating open people and creating opportunities for them. You can tell that many of them played at least like 20 of the Paganello, of the 33 Paganello that have been here, held here. So I think they really know what they're, what they're, what they're doing, even though maybe the legs are not there anymore or just less. They just know how to treat you when you're playing with the sand. So I guess Vecchia Romagna is not that, that Vecchia. <laughs> Explain again what it means, Vecchia. Vecchia means old. Old, okay. Like it's the same name of a liquor, Ah. Vecchia Romagna. So ripe, rather, like a ripe old li liquor. Uh, yeah, yeah, basically for the liquor, yes. It's like a brandy. Ah, fun. And another huck goes up. That Ooh. seems to be their only opportunity. A layout nope. bid. Stretched out arm, but not quite there. And they're quick to pick up again. And drop the first pass. That's some nice tactics in Huck and D. Yeah. We saw that many times today. That inside shot and then lay Whoa. out. Frida with the layout block. Well done, Frida. And a hug goes up immediately. Again, it's slowing down a little bit or flattening at least, not slowing down, rather speeding up. Oh my oh goodness. No. Callahan opportunity, nope. not yet. Anyway. Maybe so. Ooh. Ooh. It was out of the end zone anyway. All right, no call. It seems to have been a stoppage. There's no stoppage. It. People are stopping, but there's no stoppage. Yeah, I think. exactly. Might have been an attempt of an injury call, but instead he picks up the disc and Punches in the fourth goal in a row for Vecchia Romagna. Easy score, Vecchia Romagna. The, ho the old fox having some bag, some tricks in the bag. And it brings the score to 3 0. 4 0, sorry. From 3 0 to 4 0. And the Silverbacks. Don't enjoy this cold weather. Looks like they're a bit grumpy. <laughs> yeah, I do. To be honest, I would be a little grumpy if I um, dropped so many discs. Yeah. I, we, we've seen both sides not really um, capturing. Oh my goodness. The essence of frisbee, but this is definitely like an unforced arrow. No one in pursuit, and that disc just gone somewhere. Another red zone opportunity for them. And they work it with a give and go that Costa Rica is so known for. And what a great catch for the score. This is definitely one of the things that I think of when I think about, Co like when, I, when someone says Costa Rica Grandes. They're, they're given goals and they're like a possibility to, to move the disc in the handler space is something. Uh, rather unique I'd say yeah they always had a, a nice pool of handler to play with and yeah they they we just saw for example we just saw Sgav playing a super nice give and go in this point and it actually moved around the defense managing to get the score and to get the assist not the assist but the pass previous the, assist. the hockey assist the, yes in my opinion the most underrated for frisbee yeah for maybe not a great pull. Uh, setting up a zone, maybe. Nope. Mm, no. Would be advised, wouldn't it? It's yeah. It's it looked like a yeah. It looked like a junk.
type of defense. But now it's two man. Yeah, now it's man. We got a poach under and deep. On the Match left side, there. now it's st ooh, straight man, but it worked. Yeah, sometimes confusing your own team is confusing the opposition as well. And the huck goes up and oh. a player tripped, but did he trip over the defense no, no. or did he trip on his own? He just tripped on his own, he was coming under anyway, so the disc, the pass would have been useless anyway. The thing is with these uh, throws in the sand and downwind, you have to throw them so, so late where everyone would have given up on that easily. It's just yeah. you gotta, yeah, you're gonna wait so long. Exactly. And another huck goes up. It's coming towards us. I can't oh, catch this, but I, I, I should have tried it. You should have jumped over the table and everyone have you can see it landed even behind our tent. Now Sapucci is going to pick up the disc for uh, Cotter, for, for Vecchia Romagna. Nice Going flick from Sapucci straight into Barbara's hand. Uh, and that one over the top. Just um, uh, too happy that there was a f an open person. Just wanted <laughs> to hit them right away. Yeah, it's it's super tough. You see how crazy it is. The difference from throwing from the right side to the left side, from the left side to the right side. It's it's incredible the difference that it that it makes. Yeah, the wind is often a seventh or sixth defender in these situations like just an extra point of pressure we'll see if they can have it this time and that's an incredible garbage collection on the far side no oh my and goodness then the clap catch that isn't quite caught and again oh. and again and again those two teams are really battling it out here and not not in the exciting high level way, but rather in the scrappy last game of the day way. Yeah, I think both teams are super tired and the Singaporean looks really confused right now. Who are these old players that are kicking my ass? Oof, that one hit him in the throat a little bit. Probably didn't expect it. They're trying to find the space to hock it, but but they just found the ground again. Yes. We're getting mean, sorry, we're getting mean. Yeah, it's been a long day for us too, but... We don't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Ooh, that is a lot of body contact, but a good defense there on the up to line. Catches it anyway. Ooh. Another one. Foul. Seen that before. People have to go back now. And the flow and play is stopped. And again, an overthrow from I thought Magurian. they were teammates. <laughs> it's 5-0 for Vecchia Romagna. Time is slipping. Almost at the half of the game. No, we are at the half of the game. We're pretty much at half and Barbie picks it up with one hand. What a grab and full stride. That's really impressive. Looks for an option, looks for the dump and goes super dump. So he needs to get it. Another very low throw. Hot and distributed again. Give and go Tiki Taka and there is the score to make it six. To zero. Six to zero. Vecchia Romagna is putting up the work and ha, throwing the bones <laughs> <laughs> to silverbacks that are clueless right now. Clueless. And they're throwing in everything they have. And we're kind of ending the day as we started it with a rather clear outcome for one team where. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense a hundred percent because they're not like they're doing the right things. It's just that in the stretch of the field they can't convert any points. Well, 
also we are in power pool games, so the crossing should be like evenly matched. Yeah. yeah. But you yeah. know how pools are, and not all the pools are as strong as the as the other ones. So. Ooh, nice break, but the wind picks it up and, and away. Vecchia Romagna could take half with this. My it's goodness. It's not even a layout needed and such a good put into the end zone. Just casually runs and clap catches it. And that is half oh in favor, favor of Vecchia oh Romagna. Oh just in time with the jingle as well. And Run. yeah, these players are going to take a short break for half and we are doing a break as well having some words from our sponsors and we'll be back with you in a few seconds we live in a world where everything can be referenced online imagine if the greatest moments in our sport were never filmed Eurodisc continues to do what it takes to make free-to-watch live streams a reality. Let's leave nothing to the imagination. We'll consume the action live. And we'll support those that helped to make it happen. If it wasn't streamed, it didn't happen. Eurodisc. What a grab! Oh my god! Somehow they do it! And we are back live. Paganello. My goodness, what a blade. What a blade indeed. That one just sped up and up and up as it was coming down, down, down into the sand. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't explain, I, I don't explain to myself this so violent throw. Like, there's already the wind pushing it. You just have to give him the right flow, angle, and spin, not the right strength, like, too violent, too full arm. Especially going down with. But we've also seen Huck and D, said it before, is a very good tactic in yep. this wind. Good isolation from Silverbacks. Up the line cut and looks for it cut deep and this time around oof, what a what a layout yeah it was a nice well timed layout but the disc was oh it, it always been too high for him the whole trajectory was too high from the start so so kind of the wrong side of the pitch to attack a deep disc like that i would say that is the right side because the wind is pushing towards us. So at least the disc is staying inbound. I will rephrase the the, the runner was in the wrong lane of yeah, the field. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Too narrow, the gap was too narrow from the color and the, the, exactly. the thrower. So Silverbacks get it Gee. for a little while. Just get possession again. Barbie stopping the run. Yeah, another big hug to no one. Uh, uh, we don't well, she she actually did stop, and it was going on and on and on and floated down. It was maybe perfect, but I do think she just doesn't want the point to be over. She likes to play defense a little more than offense, maybe. Yeah, well, just this was just a, a pure hug to just throw away the disc. We're, we're again at the point where, hey, this is where you should have been. This is a good one. This is a good one. But it's coming back, and it's not cut. Nice read by Silverbacks though. Not she caught. was on there, but a lot of pressure by Vecchia Romagna. Ooh, Gorini with good the grab good. and the layout. Ooh, nice. Just barely keeps her hands on the disc and he, she's looking end zone. Not, no pivot, no pivot though. Oh. A little pivot a little and pivot. threading the needle. Yes. Ha passato la cruna di un ago, like we say in Italian. All right, I'll take your word for it. Threading the nigo, cruna del lago. Do you, by any chance, know the, the player of the the, the the player there, the the name of the player? The thrower. Yeah, the thrower. It's 
too young. I, uh, I just saw her starting to play a couple of years ago. I don't know her. Yeah, she, but the, the catcher she was, she was Gav, Gavelli. Gavelli. Because she was, she's probably one of the younger yeah. people on the team. Yeah. But I remember her from playing in the under 20 division with Italy in the final, and she's such a good player. Yeah, she's a very good under 20 player. Yeah. She plays. She played a lot of years with the tequila since she was super young. And yesterday night she was giving out spaghetti oh, and wow. fish, anchovies. 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 Or sardines. No, anchovies. Anchovies, sardines. I don't know. Ooh, that's very close there, and that's a beautiful hug. And just out the side, and that's. Not Such a pity, pity, cause that hawk was perfect. Did you see the difference now from the the hawks from this side this morning? Yeah, I How do. How flat did this yeah. stay compared to this morning? There's a real change in this. wind and direction, and that's oh, a very oh. good defense. I can't but believe it. That's the pity of the wind. <laughs> amazing, amazing pivot game by Gianni. Amazing! That was a fine work, fine footwork. Screaming at the players. Sorry complimenting them. No, oh, we're fine. Complimenting with them when they did something well and it's nine to zero now and we'll get it again where he's uh, his footwork might even be a little too good. Look at both feet walking around in the sand. Being old doesn't prevent you from traveling. No, oh, well, it wasn't that much of a travel. It just bubbled around because he didn't know what to do, as I always knew, Gianni. Gianni, that actually stands for Giovanni, I think so. Ah. I don't want to say. So it's it. the same name as you. Yeah. Nice. Well, Gianni is a shirt shirt version of Giovanni. That makes sense. Two different names, but the same meaning. Offense for Silverbacks again. <laughs> Very nice isolation in the beginning. And they're moving around move vividly and that disc is so high and only gets higher obviously because the wind just takes it and runs with it. Now Francini has to go and take the disc. From the other side of the wall or just very far away. Yeah, I was noticing that maybe from the camera it doesn't look like it because the the filters and the lenses are doing a great work. But actually this fog of cloud that have been in the sky the whole day, it's darkening it's it up pretty fast, even yeah, though yeah. it's just 6.30. True. And it's tonight, really up, oh, tonight we're, we're moving. We're moving the. We're moving the time. We've the got time. summertime. I don't know if there's a specific word in English. I'm pretty sure there is, but we're just saying we we say summer and winter time, summertime and winter time in German. Oh but no, do you have a specific do you have a specific word in Italian? <laughs> yeah, in Italian we say ora legale and ora solare. So one is the solar hour. Yeah. And this one is the legal hour. The legal hour. So the the official hour is the winter time, the the winter, and then the the sun hour is um is the summer one and that is oh my goodness I oh my goodness christina we just witnessed greatness i've witnessed greatness all day yes but this one was one adding up to it jumping from behind getting the disc and then running down the defender Ooh, oh with the smash the smash down we'll have a replay of it now the look at the deep hawk and that's a high one but you wow. can see how the wind pushes it down 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 and then that is actually him flying over the the fender that who was in better position what fabio galli doing it again for Cotari, for uh, <laughs> not yes sorry sorry but it's it seems to be in your system yeah it's when that with those names uh, it's so easy to associate and this pull is actually good but out of bound just tiny out. break
Uh, hey Max, so I just saw your question. The wind is blowing from basically from the sea, but more from the tent side towards us. So it's a bit of a crossing field. Right now is a less crossing than it was this afternoon or this morning, but still there's a bit of inclination to this wind. There's a strip call. Uh, accepted strip because he pushed the disc out of his hands when he had it on the second effort. Um, but apparently not everyone was at the position they were at when the infraction happened. So everyone move back to where you were, please, so we can continue watching this game. And it does seem like Silverbacks are like slowly advancing to their own, to their opponent's red zone for the first time, probably. Yeah, so far the mistakes has just been missed catch over and over. Great handler work there. and. What a layout bit just in front of the end zone now and pops it in with Finally. the layout. And that's the first score for Silverbacks with 13 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. High-fiving, giving them their smile, the big smile for finally taking out the web from the end zone. Look at this nice upline pass and again upline securing it with a nice pancake sand catch. That's it, that's one on the board and ten for Vecchia Romagna. It's probably a bit late to make up the difference, but from now here on out, just just have fun playing in the on the beach in in Rimini. Yeah, in that amazing tournament. No, no, no. So far, is the, the tournament has been flaw has been flawless, really. Just like that pole. Yes. Ooh. And the Costa Rica isolation of the handlers works so well for Vecchia Romagna. Looking for an option, going back and around uh, two players, or four players actually, offensive and defensive it's alone, players. He's alone. <laughs> Chapo falling into the coaching side of things. Well, Look at the player alone. It was, it was alone. a kind of a comment. It was a kind of my comment. He's alone. Nobody but who? There. But who? Had Which the, one? Had the disc guy. <laughs> Gavelli didn't have the disc and now they find him again. Ooh, and the run through defense. Stumbled before, tried to get it up with just one hand up, but... Yeah, she stopped running when the disc left the end of Gavelli. She see, saw that her defender was, like the defender had her beat. Nice isolation play again, they're really doing great work with those. Just always the connections have failed, but now they get it. And they can't even catch it behind the back. This is the first multiple turn of a point that might even go in the way of silver backs. And there it is, a break. Wow, I mean. What is that team that's so different to what we saw see before? I think that Germania is tired, very, very tired. But within five minutes of game being over? Or ten, maybe. Ten, yeah. Well, we'll see. Uh, I, I mean, Vecchia Romagna was pretty much done in this point. They were right in front of the end zone. Mm. They were crushing it. But then a silly mistake and a nice flow from the Silverbacks got them straight to the end zone. There wasn't that much of a defense. I think Vecchia Romagna is really on their knees now, not because of, of the opponent's game, but because of the condition, the mm. cardio of uh, his players. And Oof. it's also getting quite dark, which yes. for me always means I'm getting tired. Yeah, dark and cold. No, it's been cold all along. Nice break. And unfortunately, just out the side, it's not enough length on there and giving the disc to silverbacks now 
without a lot of pressure of that Kevin will, They will hack it straight away. Oh no. What? Some what? call stopping the play. Did you see a hand signal? Didn't see a hand signal. I mean, there's been a hand signal, it's a pick. But still, I don't know when it happened because... There was a lot of people in the space. It's strange, Five strange. Minutes Five minutes left. Cinque minuti alla fine. Cinque minuti. Five minutes left. And they're trapped on the end zone. Nice. What a beautiful nice. put. Nice. Nice throw by Gorini. And that's three in a row for the Silverbacks. And what a perfect backhand. Lefty into space. Wow. I mean, look at this. Gorini from the close sideline, break side, back and around, over the head of the receivers and the defenders, and just right into the end zone with that blady fall that just this time sinks right into the chest of his player. And of course, he had his tongue out. That's really important always Obviously. when hacking. Some players are cl players cozying up in the stands to watch the final minutes of the last game of the day that Huck intended. That Keromanian doesn't seem too lucid for me, too focused. They look like they're missing the whole point, how they come such a, an advantage during the first half. It's they're losing their way of game. Oh, oh, what a, but the what darkness a now just changes it up a little bit. It makes it that much harder. Although we do have the pink disc that should make it, make it easier to spot it on the sand. Inside shot and another one. Oh, that yes. A goal right on the money into the tummy of Vecchia Romagna. And they're within two of closing out the day for all of us. 11-3. I personally hope in a Callahan and a, and a drop pull for a quick end of this game. But since I can't decide the fate of this game, I'm ready to get to a 11-11 elimination game to 12, if it's necessary. Uh, I, yeah, I'd be up for that. I don't think it'll be really good with the I think they have to it, suspend it. They would have to suspend it for sure. But fortunately, it's not us who have to decide these things. We're just here talking. And if you enjoy us talking or you want to put some questions in or just communicate, make yourself known in a group chat also. When you're already chatting away, like and subscribe. And Oof. another, maybe a little miscommunication there yeah. um, that makes catching that hot that much much harder but this one didn't look hard at all although it pretty much well needed all the skill definitely Vecchia is I think they're thinking let them score we don't care when we get the disc we're, we're gonna score and we have plenty of chances to do it so why we, we should get tired running t behind them that are younger and maybe faster look at that no respect for his body. Lorenzo Gorini, a great physicist from Rimini. A physicist? Yes, he lived in wow. Bologna for quite a bit. And then moved around. He was in Lombardia, Milan, and now he's there. But he had, yeah, he had quite a movement uh, after the graduation in physics. Quite a traveler, that guy. Yeah. Not in the Frisbee. The asking of to get the pull, the delaying it one minute left it's one minute one left one minute left uh, another I very think good they call. had um, this game at a bit of a late start so that's why we have one minute left and not five as you can see in the in the screen nonetheless oh and nearly caught on the garbage that would have been such a cool Wait a 
go within one of point cap. And we're going tiki taka now for the Silverbacks. Up the line and oh, tipping oh, it on. Oh my. Oof. They've noticed <laughs> it a little too late to do anything. She turned around at the last time possible to make the D. Oh. Oh, and someone's getting frustrated. <laughs> yes, uh, Barbara is always frustrated in doing games. And the gong is here. The time is over. The time is over. So what happens now is we finish this point and then we add one to the higher score. So it's either a game to 12 or a game to 13, depending on who scores this next point. This current one, of course. Oof just overshoots on the reset and these resets are not ideal as this, nice. one, this one is going up to the ground to catch the disc from Padovani Paddy is the real surname of Paddy is Padovani I remembered it and yeah it's Padovani. such a gentle hand you see it was a nice push off so much love so much touch on that disc so much connection also, they played so many times together. I bet. Cotequila, the mixed team of Rimini, Cotequila. Cotequila, sounds yummy. <laughs> tequila on the coast, isn't it? Yeah, well it could be Cotequino and Tequila. So time is over, game to 13, and there's a pull of the last point of the last game of the first day of Paganello. Nice pull, by the way. Mm. So we're in a game to 13. Either the, the Silverbacks hold and we're playing until one oh. team has 13 or they get the chance to break, to Sh score and to go home and finish the day with a win. Mary is so good. She's so good with the hands, it's so quick. She just touched it and right there she was bolting to the end zone. And yeah. here we are. Bolting to the end zone, through the end zone rather. Yes, exactly for the score and that's it that's the final game of the day the silverbacks have to be defeated by Vecchia Romagna 13 to 4 thanks for being with us Chapo thank you Christina thank you for passing this time with me having a wonderful time and looking at some wonderful players and athletes definitely it was quite a blast and the good news is that we're going to continue this tomorrow and the day after that so have a chill night a good Saturday night and then be back bright and early with us tomorrow at 9 a.m. when we are back with live action in the real mixed division for Giovanni Santucci I've been Christina Obermeyer and this is day one of Rimini closed Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Yeah, ultimates. Alti.tv.